Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rita Jensen, and I am doing my second video today. Um, I mentioned to you I was going to do a sunflower um, journal, and um, before we get started, what I actually planned to do was not using um, papers from a kit. I do have a couple papers because I already have the kit, so I went ahead and printed a little bit, but I was thinking of just doing um, like coffee dyed uh, paper and what I did was in my coffee I added yellow food coloring so I've got this sort of goldish um, color in my papers and I thought that would be kind of fun um, I mean I want it to be summery but it uh, it could also be a fallish you know uh, the sunflower so um, I'm going to make the journal the exact size of this paper uh, so that I don't have to cut anything. So it's funny how uh, your paper shrinks when you um, put it in the dye bath and then dry it, it shrinks. So I don't know how many pages I wanna do, but I want to add in a couple extra pages. So this one here, was from the kit I just did from uh, Pink Monarch. It was, it's called Double Botanical. And so I thought, well, um, that was left over from that kit. It was a sunflower and I pulled it out. So I thought I can, you know, I can put this, this page in. And then I have um, these, um, these are from a, a notebook or a um, date book from like 1950, 1964, I think it is. And it's kind of yellowed and it's old. And so I took the pages out and I'm going to, um, let's use maybe this washi tape. It doesn't matter what really, I mean, and I'm gonna put these pages together. Probably should have put some glue but this is um this is pretty good uh, washi tape i don't remember where i got it but i think i got it online i don't really want to cover up the numbers but so anyway that's how i attach a couple pages together like if you're doing a you know the golden books or something they're small and you can attach them like that. Um, so did I do this right? Um, no. Let's see. Oh yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19. <laughs> Cause I'm, you know, I never do it right, totally. Okay, so anyway, there was a page there. Let's stick that in. And let's get a couple more of these pretty yellow sheets. I didn't want to just do them plain um, yellow. I wanted to do them um, kind of a golden yellow. That's why I added coffee. So, let's see. I'm just gonna make a single signature. I don't wanna, um, okay, then I have these um, ledger page pages and let me see I think they pretty much fit just too tall so let me fold it in half these are vintage from like 1950 and let's see where do I want to trim those just going to do it on my cutter instead of ripping. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, this should be come up on Sunday, I think. No, this may come up Monday. So, because I'm trying to get at least a day ahead so that um, if I can't do a journal, then if I can't work on it, I can 
at least have a video ahead. I just measured the two of them at the same time. I just love these. I'm going to be sad when they're all gone. But, and then I'm going to try to find some dictionary pages, maybe um, something that pertains to sunflower, uh, maybe book page or music page. Um, doesn't matter where I put them at this at this time I'll, I'll rearrange them okay here's another um, this one is from a digital that I purchased last year or maybe the year before uh, from my porch prints so it had um, two sunflowers one on each side and um, I kind of like that because a lot of the other images have pink in it. Uh, this this is one too that I did on vellum. I'm just going to let me get the cut. Um, I just wanted to see how it looks on vellum, and I'm not sure about how I like that look. Um, but I'll see when I put it in the. This vellum is kind of expensive, so let's try to sparingly use it until I get on Amazon and see like how much it is to get, you know, a bigger package of it. But at Hobby Lobby, this 10 pages is like, I don't know, it's it's too much. I know that. Okay, these I'll just save for scraps too. So let's do this. So this would probably look good with something behind it. Maybe this at this point. Okay, and then I have two. This paper, I don't know where I got it, um, but it's um, kind of a gold color. And it's bigger than... It's not taller, but it's a little bit wider than our regular. So I'm going to cut these off. Whoops. It's static, I guess. I'm going to cut these off a little. You know, maybe I will just... I'm just going to tear them. I did that in the... Um, other journal we did not too long ago. I don't want it to have these big things on it, but okay, so let's just stick it right there for now. Let me put a couple more pieces of this. So I'm thinking 20 pages. For one, a single, get this one for a single signature. This is just temporary. Okay. Um. Let's see. Now if I put like a book page and I put a music page or something like that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we've only got twelve. Okay. So that's okay because um, I want to put several of these copy dies. So there's 13. Fourteen. Some of these didn't turn out very yellow. There's a good one. 
15. And here's the donkey next door. I told you the donkey came back. I don't know how that's going to last, but I think that's 16. I'm right. Okay, let's do let's do eighteen, and then I'll do some more. Um, now I feel like I've got too much. I don't know for one signature. signature. I could put the music and the book page in there, but we'll see if I need it or don't need it. So here's a image. So I've got one, two, um, let's do, let's see, we've got 20. So one, two, three, four, Five, and then we've got this one. Five, and then I want two together. You know what? Let's um, change this. <gasps> okay, I'll leave that front one. But yeah, now let's figure it out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So one. would be five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, that is not exact but I want wherever I put that vellum I want this one so now it's a little bit more even okay. and I was thinking about um, well I've got to figure out a cover first because I was thinking of sewing in and then doing the designs but um so what i i did was i pulled out anything and everything sunflower um i pulled out some mushrooms these are just the colors that um go with it i don't know about any complementary colors okay so then i cut out i purchased this online it's junk with steph and it's just the add-on kit. I didn't get her the pages. I don't even know what the pages look like. But so I thought I'd use these as embellishments. There's a lot of words, um, little folders, little tickets. Uh, some of it I cut smaller and some of it I, left, I cut uh, larger sizes. But isn't that cute? I mean, I'm trying to think how we're going to do that. I think we could put... Um, cut that out and put the acetate, make it like a picture frame thing. So, and then I thought we could use birds and butterflies. I have this left over from another um, project. This is a lady with yellow flowers around her. I think she's too big for her pages. She is, but... I might be able to, I thought she'd make a great pocket, but I could cut her down on each side 
can still do a pocket with her. This is a um, fold out postcard. This is the original. I scanned it, but it came out um, smaller. I don't know, because I don't know how to do it. Um, but anyway, here's this original postcard that I thought was kind of cool. And maybe I'll try and print those out again. I don't know if there's any copyright. There wasn't even a name or anything when I got them at, I got them at the thrift store. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot. I've got these two pages. These are fun. These I also colored with the yellow. Let's put this one right here in the front. This was a, a little journal, like a, um, what do you call it, notebook? Traveler's notebook. And I pulled this out of that and made those. So that's 22 pages. So, and then I have napkins that I thought I could, you know, decoupage on somewhere. I could decoupage, um, you know, the whole the whole page or just randomly maybe some book page behind it I don't know anyway I didn't want oh and I have a sunflower stamp so that'll be cool and then I thought maybe I'd get some burlap I think I have some uh, burlap ribbon and stuff I would use to do the edges but so like these are great for a belly band. This was in that kit. Um, they're probably too short, but I could definitely do a belly band. We could actually do something like this and like this, right? And then um, put a, let's see what we can do. Doesn't hurt to do something, huh? I don't know if that would be too much trouble to get it in the pocket. Um, maybe just one would be good. See, each page is going to be pretty much blank. That That's my thinking, you know. So we'll leave some open for journaling. Um, and then we'll decorate some. Um... I did want one more paper. I was going to do this little um, pocket. I don't know. I think that it feels like it's too skinny. Yeah, they feel, maybe I could glue them together like that. Put them that way and then put something here like a little um, where's one of those circles? One of these. Let me see. Does, do I have another color of that? I only have this one. weird how it's got this white spot in there. I think I have the, um, and we do have these pretty words too. But this, this tag looks, um, I don't know, a little too busy for all of this. I may have to pull out some other papers. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for it to be like um, in this mode of decision. Always, I was looking to see if I cut that. Yeah, I did cut a circle out smaller. I'm not crazy. Well, they're all like that. Hmm. Cut it with this. 
these scissors because then if it's not totally round, it's okay. It's not really noticeable. It kind of looks like a torn edge. flower in there. Took that white off. I don't know why that's there like that. It's kind of weird. But, okay, so I don't like those. So I need to find something else to make a belly band out of if that's what I want to do right there. I don't have to. Let's just do... I'll just do a corner pocket. I mean, that's what I have to do. I have to not... Um, because I want to make this like fairly quick, not, um, you know, days of working on it. But I'm not sure how, how that will work because I've never done this. Usually I have something totally in mind for the background papers or I have a digital kit that I start with. And um, I don't have to put that tag there if I don't choose to eventually. I can put something else in here because these pockets are great for like when you do little notebooks and we can do a notebook. So I'm not going to put anything in that pocket right now. So let's go back. Yeah, go back to... Try to find it here to this side. So it'll be here. And let's put something there. So I could just do another pocket. I can um I could stencil on this too. Everything's a mess, huh? That's the way I always do things. Messy. Oh, this is just a pocket pocket. Hmm. Yeah, let's just put this one here. And then, whoops. And then, why is it going crooked? Come on. That's weird. Uh, then we can go back and 
change things. It looks so small for that page, huh? <laughs> um, not used to something just sitting in the corner like that, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll, we can stencil around that. Okay, we can put a word on this. I, I even cut out all the, the labels that said sunflowers on it. Them. These words are almost too big for this. Um, we have a smaller set of words somewhere. I'll have to sort this all out so you guys won't have to deal with this. Um, well, these are the smaller words. These are the bigger ones. All right. So, let's see. Let's see what my stamp would look like on that page. Get my brown ink. I don't know if it needs to be something with cushion under it or not. I never can remember if it's what it's supposed to be. All right. Let's see. Oh, I guess I'll put it here. I don't know if I want it to, it doesn't have any right or wrong way, but I didn't know if I wanted to put it up in the corner. Oh, that didn't work. Why? It didn't rub off on there. Well, I can't fix that. I don't see how I can fix that. Well, I've used that stamp before. I don't know why it didn't stamp. Should have put something under it. Yeah, it worked a little better, but it's still not great. All right. So I guess I won't be putting stamps in. I guess that stamp is not that great. Okay. These are, um, I had these a long, long time ago and they're just, um, I printed four to a page, just seed packets. And oh, this one, was in my computer, and I'm not sure uh, where I got it. You know, I don't know. Um, could have been a freebie download. Oh, it's the same print. Twice, so. probably spent the last two hours on the computer trying to find uh, those numbers that I was looking remember I said I need to print more and labels Tracy's labels um, which I found Tracy's right away because kind of knew where they were but the other one I could not find it was so Oh, you know what? If I do that, it would cut his. I'm just going to see if I can do. I don't want to cut 
this head off. I can just do a little bitty. Just so somebody knows that it's okay. See, this page you can journal on. It kind of looks pretty across from that. And I thought we could do some, um, you know, clips to go over the edge, like journal um, card. And that leaves um, space for is this one, the right size. I like that one. Um, this would make a good clip too, this card. Let's just put one of those pockets on the other side of this page. One of these pockets. Since they're not sewn in, if we need to change them around, we can. It's just a lot of pages to decorate. I don't know. It seems like because they're plain, there's more to decorate. Because usually, like, one side is... You know, every other page has got a print of some sort. So if you don't decorate it, you don't feel like you didn't do something to it. I wish that stamp would have worked. I thought that would have been a cute stamped behind some of these things. So I'll come back and um, we'll do the tags later. I'll sew around them all and then they'll be ready to just pop in where they need to go. So I guess that's gonna be our start. I think I'll make a little notebook to go in here. And um, we'll just see how many pages we can do at a time. And then, I don't know, should I ink them all? Maybe I'll go in tonight and do that. Should I cut this all down? I think, I don't, I don't like to cut them down, but I saw some, uh, there was somebody on, I don't know who it was. But um, she took a, a ruler like this and like really kind of tried to, whoop, that hurt, get them down. Okay, that's my timer telling me. 
see it does kind of jump it does kind of settle them down inside each other can you see that so maybe that's a good thing to try because I've never done that before so when she does get done she does that and then she clips them you know so that they're good and strong down in the there and then she gets a clip and clips them so that you get ready to sew them okay so that's it for this video and um, I hope you're going to want to watch this one I I'm not sure you know it's um, a little different but they always look amazing when they're done in my opinion they always look amazing and I'm not that kind of person to say oh my just word. as I was getting ready to say goodbye I got a phone call so um, anyway I will see you in the next video I hope you have a wonderful day um, see you soon bye